We're so happy the governor came to visit governor? us, and he is a gentleman that has really taken on the education side of the equation and wanting to get everybody going. But he's also been somebody who's willing to look at new things and really push it. So uh, today, today we wanted to show him the data and all that. Then we're going to go actually to a class and uh, be able to look at that. So anyway, Alex, I think you were going to. I'm here. Okay. And if you look at HISD this school year, this is HISD and how they did, which is good. And this is Cornelius. We scored 100%. I'll say that again. 100% passing on the first administration. And our primary uh, instructional mode was using the reasoning minds along with the teacher instruction. And so, and 74% commended with that with the minority children. Keeps them engaged, very excited. They experience success. Uh, and they introduced to an extremely high quality curriculum in a very, very engaging manner. And obviously doesn't take the place of the teacher who's in the room Absolutely by not. any sense of the matter. Absolutely not. But it's their own personal little uh, teacher at their particular uh, place in, in their learning process. Right. Uh, it provides differentiated instruction for the student just where he is and moves him forward to where he needs to go. And so that's what makes it so good that you don't have to sit there with the teacher if you already know something and relearn it. Uh, you just move forward. So that's what's and good. what the role of the teacher is, the teacher actually it frees the teacher up to assist to individual needs of every student. So the teachers that are here, sorry, uh, Miss Edwards and Miss Palmer, they can attest to the fact that they are still teaching and teaching every second and every minute. But that the tool that Reasoning Mind gives them allows them to become much more effective and efficient in meeting the individual needs of every in student. In their thought process, it helps them extend, extend their own thought capabilities on how to solve problems. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. This is a second grader that has finished the fifth grade curriculum. This, this man right here? Yeah, stand up and shake hands with the governor. I'm Rick Perry. What's your name? Darius Goodwin. Darius? Yes, sir. Glad to meet you. You're second grade, but you finished fifth, fifth grade, grade math work. Yes, sir. That's pretty good. Thank you. Fantastic. Yes, sir. That's awesome. What kind of prizes have you got? Uh, I haven't gotten any prizes yet. You're saving the points? Saving okay. Them. Oh, yeah, that's right. a good man. Yeah. What's your name, sweetie? Faith. Faith? I love that name. I love your hair, too. It's cute. Who's this over? Who's your partner over here? Kennedy. Kennedy? You girls have pretty names. And see, as a teacher, it allows us to see the individual needs, the strengths and weaknesses yeah. of each child. So when you see you see somebody at 65% accuracy, exactly. that's kind of your little key to go, yes. okay, let's and go see. We had to move it out of here for this point in time, but we normally have a small table, and at uh -huh. that point, we'll pull cool those kids and be able to work with them. And not only will I know that they're at 65%, I'll know what is it that they can't do. Yeah. Can they yeah. not multiply decimals? Yeah. So then I can start pulling out more manipulatives, I can do reviews and things like that, yeah. so that I can truly free in. you up yes. a bunch. Yes. So that we can truly meet every child. Uh, uh, Reasoning Mind has been on uh, my radar screen for some time. Uh, the folks who uh, instigated that program had come by uh, probably two years ago and uh, briefed us on the uh, potential. And now we have data. Uh, that is, I think, irrefutable from the standpoint of showing that this program, when implemented, uh, will allow our young Texans to excel uh, in mathematics. And if they're, you know, one place and uh, that we hear time after time that we're falling behind in the international um, arena, it's in math and science, and those two are inextricably intertwined. So a program like this, I, I, I think, is, is so important to be implemented in our state, uh, to be funded. Uh, what I know will happen after talking to the teachers and then watching the interaction with the children is that given the opportunity, given the access to this program, it will go statewide and it will go statewide very quickly. Uh, again, until you had the data, you were just a person with an opinion. <laughs> uh, and now, now we have the data 
the forest you knew what this was had the potential to do but until you had that data in hand uh, it, it was hard to stand up and say do this now I hope every member of the legislature, I hope the conference uh, committee members will look at this and see the power of what we have at our fingertips, literally, and fund it uh, because I'm quite confident that this is a program that is a game changer uh, in our public schools uh, in Texas. And when Texas does something, then the rest of the country will follow suit uh, and, and, our, and our country uh, can get back into a more competitive position when it comes to math and science.